Hello, hello, my crafty friends. How are you doing today? Welcome to my channel, Beautiful Creations by Mary, and I'm Mary. Today, we're going to do a beginner's crochet. Many of you have been asking about this, especially you, Ariel. So, we're going to do a simple dishcloth, okay? Single crochet. Nothing fancy, okay? And then I'm using a cotton yarn. It's sugar and cream. You can get this from um, Michael's or Joann's or Walmart. Any craft store that carries yarn, they should have it. Um, this is a four medium yarn. Um, the hook size is five millimeters you can wash this and dry it it's made in canada it's 100 percent cotton do not use um arcuolic okay because that's like plasticky and it will um stretch and it's no good for um kitchen um use okay so it's, this is the brand all right and this is the hook that I'm going to be using. All right, size five. And let's measure this for just in case if you want me to measure. All right. It's like six and a half. Six and a half by um, oops, wrong side. Six inches. Um, it's six inches and six and a half inches and five and a half inches. Oops, <laughs> I dropped it. Okay, and this is single crochet. All right, let's get started. Um, before I get started, you're gonna hear some noises in the background. Probably my animals, or my husband upstairs. I can hear his TV from down here, or my neighbors. I'm recording this in the morning, so I'm sorry about that. So, and I'm gonna try to stay in the camera. I sometimes forget, <laughs> like the other one that I recorded. <laughs> I totally forgot to stay in the camera several times so I'm gonna show you how to start with the slip knot okay all right gotta stay in the camera Maribel Mary all right go like that okay so you leave a nice long piece with this thumb you're gonna hold the yarn and you wrap it Remember that saying, crisscross applesauce, you cross it, oops, sorry, see I did it again, crisscross applesauce, you cross it right there, okay, you go underneath, grab the yarn, see, and you pull it a little bit, and there you go, hold it right here, grab your hook, Put it through and pull it a little bit, and then you take the the yarn, the, the long yarn you're gonna be working with, and you pull it like that. And there is your slip knot. You see it? Let's do it again. Do it a couple times so you can see it. Okay. Let's do it again. I'm going to do it closer so you can see it. Alright. Like that. This thumb you're going to hold it right here. Nice long piece. Okay. Remember the saying. Crisscross applesauce. Okay. This finger is going to go underneath. Alright. Grab this one. And you're going to pull it. 
like that. Okay. Like that. Take the two in the bottom and you pull it a little bit. Like that. Sorry. And then grab your hook, put it through. You can take the long yarn you're going to be working with and you pull it. Okay. There you go. I'm going to do it one more time. Okay. This thumb's going to hold it right there. You're going to go like this. Crisscross applesauce. Okay, I use I use this to hold it like that. And this finger is going to go underneath this one. And you're going to grab it like that. And pull it a little bit like that. Okay. Like that. Grab your hook. Put it through this loop. And then the long, the long yarn that you're going to be using, you're going to pull it. See? And there is your loop. Now, they have this other way of doing it. Let me see if I can do it that way. I don't know why they do it that way, but let me see if I can do it the other way. They were saying something about a pretzel. Let me see. They say something about like, oh, where are you going? They say like that. I don't know why it takes longer to do. They said to do it like that, and then you take, make it like into a loop, and you take this, and you go like that. See how it looks like a pretzel? And then you pull this. Like that. See? And you put this like that. And you take these two and hold it. And then you get this and you pull it. You see how I did it? Let me do it again. Alright. They call that one the pretzel. Alright, let me show you again. They call it the pretzel. I saw it on YouTube. Alright. I like that. Make a like a loop. Okay? Like that. You take this. Okay, and you put it here. Like that. Supposedly it looks like a pretzel. And you grab this. Okay, and you pull it through. Like that. <laughs> I guess and then you put the hook there and get the long string if I can find it and you just pull it see do it one more time you're going to be hearing me repeat myself okay even though it's boring but that's how you learn all right, let's do it again. Okay, like that. Okay. Make it shorter. Like that. Okay. You get this and put it there. Like that. And then you take this and you pull it through like that. Okay? And you pull it. See? With these fingers holding it. And you put your hook there and you get the long string and you pull it. See? And there you have it. Okay. There's your um, slip knot. 
All right, I'm gonna show you this other one. All right, I'm just trying to show you uh, different kinds to make it easier for you. Here's another way. Sometimes I do it this way. Okay, you put the the yarn like this, like that. This thumb's gonna hold it right there. This finger is gonna hold it right there. Okay, the hook. You're gonna put it this way, not this way, this way, okay? Like that, all right? You're gonna twist it like that, like that, and loosen it up. Keeping your thumb here, okay? And then this finger is gonna hold it right here. You're gonna go back into that loop underneath you're gonna get some yarn with the hook meanwhile this thumb is gonna hold this work right here this loop you're gonna grab the yarn and pull it through the loop see and there you have it a slip knot okay let's do it again there's many ways. Either way, you you know, whatever which way you feel comfortable, you just do it. Okay, let's do it again. This thumb is gonna hold the yarn right here. Put it around your finger. This finger is gonna hold the yarn right here. The hook right through here. This way, not this way this way okay and you're gonna twist it like that okay and loosen it up make sure this thumb is holding this right here loosen it up the hook it's called yarn over I'm gonna yarn over get some yarn Pull it through the hoop. And there you have it. Okay. There is your slip knot. So there's many ways of doing it. All right. Now, uh, I totally forgot to show you. Hold on a second. Let me put this down. Of ways of holding your uh, hook. You can hold it like a knife, like this. Or you can hold it like a pencil, like this. Okay? Either way is fine. Whichever way you feel comfortable. Okay? Knife or pencil. You try both of them and you just whatever which way you feel comfortable that's the way you're gonna do it okay now let's get started all right right here we're going to do we have here Let's count. Gotta stretch it. We have here one row. Okay. These, hold up, let me show you. I don't know if you can see it. You see how they look like V's? Those are the, your, these are your stitches. Oh, that's my cat. He might climb up here. Oops, sorry. I'm getting out of the camera. Right there. Those are your stitches. That's your stitch. Here's another stitch. Here's another stitch. There's another one. There's another one right there. Another one right there. 
another one right there they look like v's okay so let's count them and we're going to find out how many we have in this row all right we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty and then this tiny one here is twenty one it's twenty one there let's count the top There's 21. Let's see. Let's see if the, to the top part is the same. You see right there? It's the same thing. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 20. Oh, that one counted like twenty-two. Maybe it is twenty-two. This last one right here is probably twenty-two. Okay, so then we'll do twenty-two. We'll do 22 chains, okay? Okay, we already got the slip knot. So I'm going to show you how to do the chain. Okay? Now, I'm trying to make sure I stay in the camera. Okay, your finger is going to go in between the yarn. The short one and the long one. Okay, this thumb is gonna hold your work right here. Okay, and then your finger is gonna be underneath the long one. And then this this finger is gonna hold the long piece like that. Okay, just like that. And you're gonna hold your hook either uh, pencil form or knife form wherever which way you feel comfortable okay and you're going to yarn over which means you're going to grab some yarn with the hook and we're going to um pull it through this hoop okay so here we go we're going to go this way you're going to yarn over grab some yarn and you're going to pull it through the hoop Okay, there's one chain. I actually did two when I started. So there's one, two, there's two chains there. Let's do it again. This thumb is always going to hold your work. As you make the chain, this thumb is going to keep going up. Okay, let's do it again. You're going to yarn over, grab, that means grab some yarn. You're gonna go like this, grab the yarn with the hook, pull it through the hoop, like that. Okay, you see? Now you have one, two, three chains. They look like V's. Can you see it? They look like V's. See the shape of the V? They look like V's. All right, let's do it again. Yarn over, going this way, not the other way, this way. And as you're getting the yarn, the remember the thumb is going up to hold your work. Okay, and make sure it's loose, not too tight or not too loose, okay? Make sure it's loose. Yarn over. That means getting the yarn. Okay, yarn over, grabbing it with the hook, pull it through 
the hoop. See? And there you have it. Now you have one, two, three, four. You have four chains. Let's do it one more time for just in case you didn't get it. And this thumb is going up again to hold your work. You're gonna yarn over, grabbing the yarn with the hook. Pull it through the hoop. And there you have it. Okay, now you have one, two, three, four, five. You have five chains, okay? If they all look like V's. Okay, one more time before I let you go and do 22 chains. Okay? Yarn over, grabbing it with the hook, pull it through the hoop. Okay, make sure it's loose. And there you have it. Now let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have six on your chain. This one up here that's on the, the hook, this hoop right here, it, that doesn't count, okay? It only counts from here down. All right, so I'm gonna let you go and let you do the rest of them, okay? Go up to 22 chains, all right? And I'll meet you back when you get the 22 chains. Okay, we're back. I did my 22 chains, all right? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. This one here on the hook does not count. Remember that. So the next step, we're going to make go do a single crochet. Okay? So we're going to go count can you see it we're gonna count one two we're gonna go into this chain right here okay and watch very careful we're not gonna get we're not gonna um, grab any yarn right now okay and remember it's called yarn over what we're gonna do first, and this finger is always holding this right here. Your thumb's holding your work. See how I'm holding it? Okay. All right. We're counting. One, two. We're gonna go in this hole right here, this chain. Put your hook through there. A little bit tight. I should have loosened it. Put it through there. Okay. You see? And then you look on top. You see how that looks like a V? If you split it a little bit. Can you see it? There's one, two right there. Yeah, it looks like a V. That's when you know you're doing it right. Okay. Now, you grab some yarn, it's called yarn over. With You grab it with the hook, pull it through that chain, okay? See, right there, and this thumb is gonna hold your work right here, okay? Now you have two hoops on your hook, one, two. Okay, make sure you loosen that up a little bit, not too tight. This thumb is gonna hold your work, okay? And then you yarn over, grabbing some yarn with the hook, and you're gonna pull it through both hoops, 
just like that that is called a single crochet let's do it again okay I'm gonna pull it out okay let's do it again for those who didn't get it watch how I'm holding everything okay see how I'm holding it all right and always remember this hoop does not count okay we're gonna count oops <laughs> hold on a second I'm trying to hold it you're gonna count one two we're gonna put the hook in the second chain put it through there get closer so you can see put it through there okay and look on top if you see if you did it correctly there's one and then there's two it looks like a v okay yarn over and grab the yarn pull it through that chain loosen it up a little bit okay now you got two hoops okay the thumb's gonna hold your work now you're gonna grab some more yarn as it called yarn over Grab it with the hook, pull it through both hoops, and there you go. That is called a single crochet. Okay, now we're gonna do it again. We're gonna go to the next chain. The next chain is this one right here. Okay, because you did one already here. So you go in here, they look like V's. Okay, there's another one, there's another one right there. So you're going to this one so you put your hook in that one Oop, ouch pinch myself put it in okay and look on top yep i'm doing it correctly there's there's the v one two there's two of them there's a v okay yarn over grab the the yarn pull it through the chain okay thumbs gonna hold your work and you got two hoops on your hook yarn over grab the yarn pull it through both hoops and there is your second single crochet let's do it again Hold on, let me grab some yarn. Okay. Let's do it again. I want you to learn this. And if you don't get it, just keep rewinding me and just keep going. You're gonna you're gonna figure this out. Because I have taught many people and they learned. And then I created monsters, <laughs> crochet monsters. <laughs> All right, let's do this again. All right, you did that one and this one. That's one, two, single crochet. Now we're gonna go to the next one, to the third one right here. Okay, it looks like a V. Okay, you're gonna put your hook in there. All right, put it in there. Look on top. Yep, it looks like a V. So you, you're doing it correctly. And then you're gonna yarn over, grab some yarn, pull it through the chain. Okay, loosen it up a little bit. This thumb's gonna hold your work, like that. See, you got two hoops. Yarn over, grab some yarn, pull it through both hoops. Oops, there we go. Now you have three single crochet. One, two, three. I'm gonna do it one more time for just in case if you didn't get it and then I'm gonna let you go and I'm gonna let you go to all the way you fill all this up and I want you to fill it up to there okay to the last one so let's do one more okay one more time okay 
here we go put it through the fourth chain which is right here put it in there okay look at it on top yep I'm doing it correctly because there's two of them there's the V yarn over grab some yarn pull it through the chain I got two hoops yarn over grab some yarn with the hook pull it through both hoops and there we have it now you have one two three four you have four single crochet now I'm gonna let you go and you're gonna fill each chain okay each one all the way to the end I'm gonna meet you there okay and then that's where you're gonna stop because we're gonna go to the to the second row all right so I'll meet you there okay and we're back now you're at the end of the row you should have 21 um, stitches okay we did 22 is it was because you're supposed to do 22 um, like uh, to have the 21 like it always have like an extra one now when you count it see I'm gonna count it for you Hold up. Let me loosen it up. Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Okay. You um you always do um let's say um, I wanted to do 21 but you always do 21 chains plus one that way it'll come out to the 21 chains that you want okay let's say I want to do uh, I want to do 25 chains so I'm gonna do the 25 chains plus one so I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do 26 chains so that way I'll have the 25 chains okay I hope you can understand that okay so we did um, 22 chains here and it came out to the 21 chains the 21 stitches that I wanted okay I hope you understand that later on you'll you'll get it okay so now we're gonna go to the um, second row okay hold on let me get my hook in there All right You might, um, I think the the neighbors are up and the kids are up. I can hear them. So I'm sorry about that if you hear them. I can't do anything about it. All right. So now, what we're going to do, all right, you just remember this thumb is always going to hold your work. And this is how you're going to hold it. Okay. Always make sure it's loose. You're going to chain up, okay? Chain up means um, yarn over. You grab the yarn like that, and you pull it through the hoop like that. See? That means chain up, okay? Let's do it again for just in case you didn't get it. That's how... Um, we go to the next um, row okay so yarn over grabbing the yarn with the hook pull it through the hoop like that okay and then you flip your work like this okay 
Let's do it one more time for just in case you didn't get it. All right. Yarn over. Grab the yarn, pull it through the hoop like that and flip your work like that, okay? Now, we're gonna fill each of these stitches, okay? Let me show you, let me loosen that up. Okay, we're gonna fill each of these stitches. See if you can see it, see? Each of these stitches. Okay, we're not going to fill the first one because if you do that, it's going to turn lopsided. Okay, this is what I mean. This one right here, you're not going to do that one. You're going to go to the next one right here because if you do this one, for some reason, it starts to go this way, your work. Okay, to maintain your work straight, I always go to the next one. Okay, you're not going to grab any yarn. You're not going to yarn over because we're doing only single crochet. Okay, so you're going to go, you're not going to this, you're not going in here. You're going to the second stitch. Okay, so you're going in here, put your hook through here. Okay. Yarn over, grab the yarn, pull it through that stitch, like that, loosen it up. You got two hoops. Yarn over, grab the yarn, pull it through both hoops. And there is your single crochet. Let's do it again. Now you're going to the next stitch right there there okay put your hook through that stitch okay see like that okay yarn over grab your yarn pull it through that stitch like that now you have two hoops on your hook yarn over Grab the yarn, pull it through both hoops. There is your single crochet. Now you got the two. You see? Let's do it again. We're going right there. Okay? Put it through that stitch right here. Like that. See? Looks just like the same as before, the V shape. Yarn over, grab the yarn, pull it through that stitch. Now you got two loops. Yarn over, grab the yarn, pull it through both loops. And there is your single crochet. I'm gonna do it one more time and I'm going to let you fill each stitch all the way to the end okay and right here that is a stitch you might think it's not you can see it that is a stitch right there that's a stitch okay I want you to fill that one up too if you can see it okay I want you to fill it up all the way to there so let's do it one more time before I let you go in, in, on your own. Here is another stitch right here. We're gonna put it the hook through there. Yarn over, grab your yarn, pull it through the stitch. You got your two hoops. Yarn over, grab the yarn, pull it through both hoops. And there is your single crochet. And now I want you on your own and fill up each stitch all the way to the end. And I'll meet you there. 
Okay, we're at the end. And I'm hoping that you went all the way to the end right there. Okay, it's it, it's hard. You just gotta force that baby in there. <laughs> okay, so now you're gonna chain one. Okay, turn your work like that. Okay, now remember, like we did last time, you are not gonna put it in the first stitch. You're going to the next one, okay? Like before, this is a simple dishcloth. It's one sing, it's a one repeat row, okay? You're not going here. You're going to the next one, okay? So, put your hook through that stitch right there, okay? Grab the yarn, pull it through that stitch. You got the two loops. Yarn over, grab the yarn, pull it through both hoops, and now you got your single crochet. Let's do it again. Go to the next chain, I mean the next thumb stitch right there. Put your hook through there. Okay. See? You got that V-shape going on. Grab the yarn, pull it through the stitch. You got both hoops, yarn over and grab the yarn, pull it through both hoops, and there is your single crochet. Let's do it again. Go to the next stitch, put your hook through there, yarn over, grab the yarn. You got two hoops, yarn over, grab the yarn. Pull it through both hoops. There is your single crochet. You just keep working. Simple as that. Okay. Put it through the stitch. Got through your hoops. Yarn over. Put it through the hoop. Next stitch. Yarn over. Put it through the stitch. Two hoops. Yarn over. Put it through the hoops. See? Isn't that pretty? So now I want you to fill it up all the way to the end. Okay? And right remember, that's right there. Right there. That is a that is a um stitch. You gotta put it in the last one right there, okay? And I will meet you at the end. Okay, we reached the end. Now, if you want to make sure that you're doing this correctly, just count the, the stitches. If it counts 21, then you're doing it correctly. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yep, we're doing it correctly. Now, you just it. Now you just chain one, and you turn your work. Now, this is a one row repeat. You're just gonna be doing it the same way that we've been doing it from the beginning. Okay. Let me count how many rows you're gonna be doing. Okay, on your own. Let me count this. Hold on a second. All right, I'm gonna show you how to count this. All right, get it close so you can see. All right, the way to count this is, you see this right here? These two, the V, you count it like that. There's one right here, so that's one row Here's another V, that's two rows. Another V, that's three. Another V, four. Another V, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Another V, thirteen, fourteen. 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, oops, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. There's 24 rows, okay? And if you didn't get that, let me show you again. Okay. Oops, I'm out of, I have to learn to stay in the camera. <laughs> All right. You see this right here? That's a stitch. And this is one row. Okay. So you count one, two, three, like that. Okay. And that's how you count your rows. By looking at the that stitch like that, like that V. Okay. And that's how you know the, the rows. Okay. That's one row. And that's two rows. See? Here's another one. Three rows. There's another V right there. Another stitch right there. That's one, two, three, four rows. Here's another one right here. Five rows. Here's another V stitch right there. That's six rows, okay? And you just keep counting them. And you work your way all the way up, okay? To 24 rows. And I want you to stop at 24 rows, okay? And then I'm gonna meet you at 24 rows. Okay, and then I'm going to show you how to cast off. All right, so I'll meet you there. Okay, now that you have your 24 rows, okay, hoping that you count them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. There's 24 rows, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how to cast off. Okay. See, you can see that right there, right? Okay, let's say, take that off. Okay, there, chain one, you pull it, tighten it, of course I don't have scissors, do I? <laughs> my granddaughter takes all my scissors, I'm going to use my pocket knife. Hmm, yeah, she took my scissors. I'm gonna use my pocket knife. Sorry, I have to use my pocket knife for this. She takes everything. Okay, I, mean, I don't even know how to use this. Here we go. And cut it. Nice long piece because we're gonna weave it in. All right. Close this safety first. All right, get yourself a hook. I mean, a hook. Uh, a needle threader, uh, yarn threader. I mean, I like this one. Got this from Amazon. I'll put it. Um, I'll put it in the description box below. I'm sorry, I'm tired. Okay. So it's going to look like that. Okay, you take this and just pull it like that. Okay, tighten it. See? All right, now what we're going to do, and I even told you, I forgot all about telling you to get one of these. You can get one of these or one of these. Okay, as long as it's a needle that you could um, 
weave your ends. So what you're gonna do, put the yarn through the hoop, like that. And we're gonna weave the ends back into the into your work. You can put it through here, through here. Okay, I'm gonna put it through here. Okay. And you can see that. I'm just weaving it in. Weaving it in. See, like that. Pulling it through. Like that, see? You see how they can't see it? Right? I'm gonna keep going for a little bit. Make it longer. And then I like to, um, oops, it came out. Hold on, let me put it back in. All right. I like to go back to double secure it, you know. So I'm going to go back in there. You can do this as many times as you want just to secure it. Okay. See? And of course, I gotta use the knife. Next time, I'll be more prepared. I'm doing it the Rambo way. <laughs> and if I would have a good pair of scissors, you won't even see this. Because you cut it like real close. Okay, and then we're going to do the, remember the beginning? We're going to weave this in too. So, let's weave this baby in. Oops. Dropped it. Alrighty. There we go. So we're gonna weave this in as well. Go back into your work. I hope you can see that. Weave all that in. And just, you know, any which way. You can weave it wherever which way. See? See how they can't see it? And just keep going. That. And then go back to secure it. Good. Okay. Ramble style. <laughs> Safety first. And if you had a good pair of scissors, if I had a good pair of scissors, that would be cut right at the tip. And you won't see that. Look how pretty it came out. Now I have two. See? And I got two dishcloths to wash my dishes with. So I hope yours came out nice. Mine's did. Okay. Very pretty. So I hope... Um, this was useful for you guys now um for the next um beginners class crochet tutorial um put in this in the comments below um what you want to do next okay what do you want to learn and i'll gladly will do it uh a tutorial for you okay um let me see announcements before we go um, for whoever wants to help out with the uh, hats for kids, 
we're doing that for this month. We got till January the 10th to do it. We're crocheting hats or knitted hats for the kids. Um, you can do babies up to uh, kid size. Make sure you put the sizes on the bags of each hat. Um, the address will be in the description box below. Um, also, my information will be in the description box. My uh, email, if you want to um, write to me privately. Um, if you want to join my uh, Facebook group, you can also join my Facebook group. Um, you just got to answer the three questions. There's always going to be three questions. Um, and one of my monitors or me will let you in after you answer the questions. Um, our Facebook group is uh, a place where you can show your crafts, any crafts. Um, it's nice. Um, it's a nice group. And also, um, if you have any questions or concerns, you can put it in the comments below. Um, let me see what else. Um, I'll put all the materials that we used here in the, the in the description box below. Okay, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit, and if you're new, hit the the, uh, the subscription box. And also hit the bell notification bell, the first one, so you can um, see all my videos, okay? Because there's always something new to watch, okay? Oh, and don't forget, if you want me to try a uh, craft, make sure you put that in the comments below. And I will choose one of those uh, crafts and do a video about it, okay? And I guess that's about it. So I'll see you next time. Stay crafting and stay safe. Bye.